hello friends in this video i will show you how to add a custom event in sketchware and also i will show you how to request runtime permission to read contacts so here first thing is we have to make it app compact and design so we have to switch this on in library manager and then in permission we have to add the permission to read contacts so here it is read contacts so tick this now for runtime permission we require few imports like manifest and package manager then this activity compact and context compact And then in on create event we can request permission to read contacts so this is the code if context compact dot check self permission this comma manifest dot permission dot read contacts not equal to package manager dot permission granted then activity compact dot request permissions this comma new string array manifest dot permission dot read contacts comma hundred else read contacts so this is i have converted the this code into blocks and in my previous video i showed how to create these custom blocks now in this video i will show you how to get the result of, of this permission request so this is the code for request permission read contacts to get the results we have to use this code okay we cannot use it in all create it has to be separate but i will first show you the code it is at override public void on request permission result it contains this variable int request code string array permissions and int array grant results so here the request code you can see here the request code is 100 so here we use if request code is equal to 100 then if grant results length is more than 0 and its position 0 is permission granted then we read contacts ok it will be underscore here otherwise toast a message at permission to read contacts denied okay so we will put this in a custom block to create a new event so we will copy this part of the code copy this and this in the end we have to put this closing curly bracket so now we click on this symbol my block collection click on developer tools and go to event manager inside this go to activity events and here create a new event so first i will just paste the code okay now my activity event name is i will copy this on request permission result so this will be name the description let be same parameter same in spec is the block name so it will be on request permission result plus i want this request code as a variable so i will copy this and here i will write percentage d d is for a number so whenever we want number we write percentage d dot request code so this will create a block with this number variable request code and its code will be underscore request code so here i have to change it to underscore request code and here also i will make it underscore request code okay and in the end i will put a closing curly bracket now in between i have to write my own code so here i will write percentage 1 
dollar s small s so this is the place where i can write my own code now i will save this so this event is created okay here you can see it shows one event so now we go back to sketchware project and here we will add the event here you can see on request permissions result so i will select this and add and in this you can see this request code so now i will remove this from here and this is just for reference so we have already used this part of the code next we want this part so with, for this we can use an if else block okay if a request code is equal to 100 if request code is equal to 100 so this part is done we will remove this so we have already done the if then block if request code is equal to 100 okay now we want if grant results dot length is greater than 0 and grant results 0 is equal to permission granted so this will be a boolean block okay we will cut this so we will make a boolean block we can go to more block and add a boolean block here or we can add it net so here we will add a more block of type boolean let's name it permission granted okay and actually we can create a more block a custom block itself so we will just go here go to developer tools go to block manager and here we will create the block okay first we will paste the code so here we do not need any variable so we can simply name it permission granted select the type boolean and type name permission granted and block name also permission granted okay so if permission granted now we can use this in our on request permission granted so here i will put this if else block instead i will use this if then here if request code is equal to 100 and after that if permission granted so if permission is granted then read contacts else show some message so here i will use this block read contacts else post this message permission denied to read contacts so that's all here so now we can check whether this is working or not so now the app is installed and you can see it, it shows allow read contact to access your contacts and when i click on allow shows the contacts in my next video i will show you how to get the contacts 
so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this